this year, 2021. Yes. Picked up the silver medal there. I mean, that's going to be tough because that was th that's two world championships a month apart. Which one do you focus on? Which one are you more concerned about? And that's been a really tough thing for a lot of athletes at the moment is, you know, yeah. the number of competitions and managing training, managing your peaks. What? Well, that moved very well. Absolutely textbook. It's silly here. I mean, if I, if I let five kilos get away from me, it's going to open the door. Absolutely. So, taking his time. Yeah. <clears throat> And you see them, they don't look up at the centre referee until they want the rack command, do they? No, and it's actually there a really good thing to practice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you, if you happen to look at them and you get the rack command before you're ready... Wow, that was a tough second lift. Look, on his second lift, his 295 looked great. The 310 just looked like he just couldn't get comfortable. He was never, never looked confident coming out of the rack. Yeah, I mean, with uh, with my trademark 2020 hindsight, clearly he should have gone 305. But uh, yeah, he looks a lot it's better. It's all very setup. well looking into the past, isn't it? No. And just not there today. He just no, mistimed that. All. Yeah, look, 205 should be manageable. Uh, You'd think. Like you? Although, I mean, you look at his squats earlier; they weren't what they usually are. But this is using a different end of the body. So, could be different. See, I'm always concerned about, you, you see his shoe there, the, the way that the running shoe curls up towards the end. You can, you can fail to get the start command from that. And people saying, put your feet flat on the floor. Well, that wasn't the cleanest lift I've ever seen him do. Yeah, I mean, he's not got the biggest deadlift, but... Yeah, the key is just keep on adding. I think he's got his work cut out today, you know. He certainly has. If you look at uh, Sataki, some of the Kotowski. prognosis. Oh, that was good. Referees say. Oh, referees say it's a good lift. Hits this or not? Russian Olympic Committee. You know, 205 to 210, he hasn't put it up a lot. Just taking the conservative jump there. He's He knows that he's going to have a really tough time getting onto that podium today. He knows he's just got to chip away. Yeah, he's not having the best day, is he? I mean, we, we said it was almost a foregone conclusion if both he and Fedosienko got their lifts in, and uh, I'm sorry to say I was wrong in this particular case anyway. However... That's a and struggle, but... He gets it back to the top. Was everything where it needs to be? Were both arms locked, do you think? He's, he's not the biggest deadlifter, but he's certainly a consistent deadlifter. Yeah. And he needs to put this one on the board. Very important, this one. Not necessarily had the best day of his life, but he's still, uh, still right up yeah, there. Yeah, no, it certainly hasn't been as smooth sailing as it usually would be. Overall, without this, it's going to be a little. It's, it's still going to be a little close. Without this, I don't think. I think he's going to be under a lot of challenge. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, it's a marginal gain, but if he doesn't get get the gain, it's quite a considerable uh, step back. Well, let's see what you've got, Sergey. Well, looks well, like he's, he's got, got a lot. A pretty committee. 290. Yeah, so this will give a 795 total. He is in the gold medal position overall. And 795 is probably enough to stop anyone taking a run at it. I think El, El, El Bogati could take a run at him, but he's going to risk his silver, silver medal as well too much. So that would be a very big decision on his behalf. Yeah, I mean, we'd like to see the, the all or nothing, wouldn't we? Because uh, that's it's more always exciting. It's always us, exciting. But, but it's a tactical game. Uh, that was a great lift. Yeah, no problem.